think a lot of times you go to the movies and you end up leaving the movie and you feel good about yourself. Maybe there's something that you saw on the big screen that was just so empowering and so enlightening and just made you feel awesome. I'm not necessarily sure that Duff is going to be one of those movies. Because quite frankly, you're probably going to leave that movie and look around and say, Am I the Duff? Now let's back up a sec. The Duff is the latest high school movie that's come out. It's based on a book by uh, Cody Keplinger and it stars Mae Whitman. That name might not sound familiar, but you might have seen her in, in projects such as uh, Perks of Being a Wallflower. Now in this movie, she plays Bianca, normal high school girl who just happens to have some pretty attractive friends. So attractive that the guys at said high school are too, uh, too intimidated to go up to her friends to, to talk to them, so they go up to her because she's safe and she's approachable. She's the duff, the, the quote, designated ugly fat friend. Sounds mean, doesn't it? Well, it is kind of mean. Now, as soon as she finds out that she is the duff, her world is turned upside down. Do her friends know? Do her family know? How the hell is she the duff? There's so many great things about her. Anyways, this is an enjoyable movie to a point, but it's also extremely predictable. Probably more predictable than enjoyable. There are a couple of scenes and moments in the movie that are pretty fantastic. Well, maybe I'm overselling. That are pretty good, but overall, this isn't going to be a movie for everyone. I don't see a group of guys running out to see it, but it's not necessarily their target market. So let's talk about the target market that it is intended for. Teenage girls. I don't necessarily think it's going to do a lot for the confidence of said teenage girls to go to this movie because I can see conversations like, oh my god, like am I the duff? No, like whatever, you're the duff. No, I'm the duff. But what if a group of seniors want to go see this movie? Hey Charlie, am I the duff? What'd you say? I said am I the duff? What? Never mind, I'm going to go to the washroom. I'll meet you guys out front. Do you think he realizes that he's the duff or did he buy it when I was pretending I was playing deaf? This isn't, this is going to be one of those movies that people are leaving and saying, okay, who's the duff? Who's the duff? As opposed to saying, hey, that was a great movie. The fact that you've got this whole duff uh, uh, piece of the movie isn't really a plot line. It's just a centerpiece. The whole plot is basically girls trying to make it through high school and again, searching for acceptance and things of that, uh, things of that nature. I think we've seen movies like Perks of Being a Wallflower that have done a much better job with it. This movie's enjoyable, and to that end, I give it a C, but I certainly wouldn't rush out to see it in the theater, and I certainly wouldn't pay full price to see it. If you can go on a cheap Tuesday, that would probably be your best bet. An even better bet would be waiting for it to come out on Netflix. At the end of the day, not a terrible movie, but certainly not, not, not worth uh, your hard-earned dollar either. As always, you can reach me on Twitter at CFL underscore fan, Facebook.com slash Witty Whittier, and wittywittier.com. If you like these blogs, tell your friends about them and come back and check out more. And until then, I'll see you at the movies.